Okay, right here is a 1944 Caterpillar 8R Series D8. The D8 was first introduced by Caterpillar in 1935 as the model RD8. It was developed from the earlier Diesel 75 tractor. The model RD8 Series 1H became the model D8 in 1937, and it was produced up until 1941 when it was replaced with the newer 8R Series, which is what you're looking at right here. Caterpillar records indicate that almost 10,000 1H series tractors were built up until 1941 at the time of its replacement. Now the 8R series look much like the older RD8, but the 8R series was much more mechanically refined, and in its day, this was an unbeatable dozing machine. And as you can see, this particular 8R is equipped with an RG Letourneau model K8 bulldozer. It wasn't until 1945 when Caterpillar started building its own blades after the termination of the joint marketing agreement between RG Letourneau and Caterpillar in 1944. This is a cable machine, okay? There are no hydraulics on this dozer. And right here in the front, you can see where the cables run down, connect to the bottom sheaves on the top of the dozer blade, and this is basically all you get on one of these older cable dozers. The ability to raise the blade up or lower it down. There's no hydraulic control. You can't angle the blade to the left or right or up and down. And this is really what made these old-time operators who would run these old cable machines so skilled and talented. Because to know how to dig with a machine like this and move dirt takes a skilled operator. Right here on the side of the radiator, you can see where it says Caterpillar. The 8R is powered by Caterpillar's outstanding D13000 inline six-cylinder diesel engine. This was the exact same engine used in the earlier model RD8, which produced 95 drawbar horsepower and 110 belt horsepower. By 1941, this engine was producing 113 drawbar horsepower and 131 belt horsepower in the 8R. And for those who don't know what drawbar horsepower is, it's basically the measurement of power available for a tractor to pull an implement. Now let's go up on top of the dozer. Here you can get a good overview of the operator station on the 8R. I'll take and show you what some of these controls do and explain to you how you'd run this dozer. Now in the front here, this hand lever you see is to turn the pony motor over to start the dozer. And if you look on the front here, on the hood, you can see you only have two gauges for the fuel pressure and the water temperature. Now, all of these hand levers and controls may look kind of confusing to run this machine, but in reality, once you learn this control setup, it's relatively very simple. Okay, these two foot pedals you see on the floor are track brakes. The right pedal is the right track brake, and the left pedal is the left track brake. This hand lever that you see on the left side works the clutch. These two hand levers you see out in front are the steering clutches. This is how you steer the tractor. And this big hand lever you see over here is the gear shift for the transmission. This dozer has a six-speed manual transmission. It's the same transmission that was used in the model RD8. Now, in the newer 2U series, which was introduced in 1945, those tractors had a 5-speed manual transmission. And this hand lever that you see on the right side over here works the cable control unit on the back of the dozer. We'll go and take a look at that in a minute. And here you can see what's left of the operator seat. And right behind the operator seat, this is the diesel fuel tank. Okay, on the back of the tractor, this is what's called the cable control unit. This acts basically as a winch. In fact, a lot of guys will often call this a winch, but the correct term for it is a cable control unit. Basically, all this does is reel the cable in or reel it out. You can see where the cable is reeled around the drum right here. It runs out, and it runs through that top bar that goes over the dozer, and down to pick the blade up and down. 
Now this particular cable control unit has two drums. One right here, which is working the dozer blade, and the other one over here, which you can see is not in use. This one was optional, and this is if the tractor were pulling a scraper pan. The operator would wrap the cable around here and run it up to the scraper. This particular drum would be worked by a different hand lever, and this would work a scraper if the tractor were pulling one. And right here, you can get another good view of Caterpillar's D13000 diesel engine. A lot of guys will often say that this engine was bulletproof. And right here, you can see just how thick and strong the frame is on this tractor. Everything on this machine is heavy duty. The 8R is also famous for playing an important role in helping the United States and its allies in World War II. Thousands of these 8R tractors were shipped overseas to assist in the war effort in the 1940s. The overall working weight of this tractor with the K8 bulldozer that you see right here is 17 tons. The 8R series was replaced by the 2U series in 1945 which had a much longer production run than the older 8R series did. There were many improvements that were made to the tractor, such as the replacement of the dry type clutch with an oil clutch. The tractor itself had more power. And the 2U series was the first to receive a new radiator grill front end design in early 1950. The last of the D8 tractors to be powered by the 13,000 engine and follow in the 2U series design was the 13A series. Those tractors were built from 1953 to 1955. They were also the most powerful, up to 185 horsepower. But there she is, a classic 1944 Caterpillar 8R Series D8, equipped with an RG Letourneau Model K8 bulldozer.